Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically show you how to handle a slider using mouse events. First of all, what exactly is a slider? So for that, here is an example page, guys. Let me take you to that example page where you can see a sample slider. I'll copy this URL and uh, paste it here, okay? And uh, you'll be taken to a page where you can see a slider. So this is what is a slider, guys, you see, whatever you are seeing on the screen, okay? So I can, you know, move it to the left side, right side, this particular item. Even this item also, I can move left and right. This is called one of the example of a slider, guys. You know, this particular slider is in horizontal way. You may have some web pages or some real time applications where this particular slider may not be in a horizontal way always. It may also be a vertical slider also. Whatever the slider may be, it's a slider ultimately. It's a horizontal slider or it may be a vertical slider. So how to handle or automate such kind of sliders using Selenium Python that to using the mouse events. With the help of mouse, I want to drag this to the left and right kind of thing, okay? So this is what I call it as handling the slider, okay? So how to automate that handling of the slider in Selenium Python, I'm going to cover in this session. So we have to use a command known as drag and drop by offset command. In Selenium Python, we have this command known as drag and drop by offset command using which we can handle the slider. It can be a horizontal slider or it can be a vertical slider. We can use the same command for doing that. So, so let me demonstrate that. First, what I want to demonstrate is uh, when I go to this particular page, I'll get this slider. I want to move this particular item to the right side on the slider, okay? So from here to here somewhere, I want to move. How to do that? So already the same web page. I'll copy this URL, guys. I'll copy this URL and go to this PyCharm ID. And uh, here we already have some Selenium Python automation code already written for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser window and for opening the application URL. Here, paste the application URL that you want to go where you can find this slider. Now, once you go to this page, guys, what I want to do on this page is I want to drag and, uh, and drop this slider to the right side, okay? Drag and drop this slider to the right side. So what I will do is I'll right click on this slider and ins uh, slider option and inspect that. And uh, you know, I'll get this HTML code. You see this HTML code. So I need to, there's no ID or something. So I'll go with an XPath expression here. So it has, you know, this looks uh, good for me, okay? This looks unique for me. Price minimum label looks unique uh, for me. So what I'll do is double slash A at the right uh, attribute name is equal to value. Okay, I, I'm going to give that. I'll copy this attribute name here, first of all. And here I'll write down control F double slash A. Okay, at the rate, give the attribute name that I just now copied. So it's going to locate this one. And there are two items coming, uh, maybe this one and this one. So I want the minimum price one. This is the maximum price, this is the minimum price one. I'll go with this uh, price min label, okay? Just let me type it manually. Is equal to, the value is price min label. You see, now it's locating only one element that is nothing but this uh, this part, okay? That you want to drag and drop by. So I'll go to the uh, code. Here I'll create a web element driver dot find element by dot xpath, give the xpath expression. And here I'll say, this is min price, right? Min label. I'll say min label, whatever it is. Okay, just give some web element name. Now, I want to drag this using the mouse, right? I want to drag and drop this using the mouse. So for, uh, you know, for handling the mouse events, right? We need to create an object for the action chains, as you already know. And uh, to the constructor of action chains, you have to pass this driver and whatever the object that got created here for that, we need to create an object reference. So I'll say actions is equal to, we can give any name for this, I'm giving actions. Now I'll simply say actions dot, what is the command I have to use? To drag and drop by, drag and drop by offset I have to use, okay? With the sliders I have to use this command, guys, okay? Drag and drop by offset command. So when you hover the mouse here, it will say that you have to give X offset and Y offset, okay? You can give, you have to give X offset. If it is horizontal, right? Horizontally moving is X offset, okay? I want to move this horizontally here, right? So I have to mention the X offset. I cannot give Y because, you know, Y should be mentioned as zero because this is not vertical slider. 
So only horizontal moving is possible. So I have to give here, let's say 100, I'll give, okay, 100. And uh, Y offset, I'll give zero, guys, because I cannot move this uh, vertically, right? So I'll let me give zero there. That's it. And uh, I have to simply say dot perform. If I don't mention this perform command at the end of this command, this command is not going to work. So just for demonstration purpose, what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, before uh, dragging and dropping that particular item on the slider, right? I'm just giving some waiting time. Let's say three seconds. And uh, after it got dragged and dropped by using offset, that is X offset here. Vertical is not there. Okay. So I'll give time dot sleep again just for demonstration purpose. And after that, I will quit the browser. Now run the code and see whether using this drag and drop by offset command, we are able to drag that slider option to the right side. Let's see. After see it's uh, going to this page. After three seconds, you observe guys. Okay, there's a problem here. There's a problem. We went to that page, but somehow uh, what is the problem? Okay, maybe here one more uh, attribute is required, it seems. Let me see. Source, yeah, which element I want to move and it didn't provide, right? This particular web element only, I need to drag and drop by, right? I forgot to give that. Copy this min label here and paste it here, okay? This particular element on the slider, I want to move to the right side in a horizontal way. So this is what is the thing. This, this is the particular thing that is missing, guys. I forgot to give. So this is a web element we have to provide, okay? In that uh, drag and drop by offset. Run this. This time it's going to move that uh, min label web element to the right side on the slider. Let's go to that page. After three seconds, you observe, guys. You see, it got moved to the right side, right? It got moved to the right side. What if I want that particular option to move to the left side like this? For that, what we have to do is just give some negative value here, minus 100 you give. It will move to the left side, okay? We'll be dragging and dropping that option on the slider to the left side now, okay? In a horizontal way, to the left side. Run this, this time it will move to the left side. It will be dragged and dropped by offset to the left side on the page, on the slider. Just observe here. It's at 200 here. You see, it's kind of bounced back, actually, bounced back. So I'll do one thing. I'll just give only 50, minus 50. Let's see what will happen. Stop and run, I'll say. Let's see what is going to happen here. You see, it got dragged to the left side. Right, negative value, it will drag to the left side, uh, positive value, horizontal to pass to the, uh, drag to the right side. Here, vertical, we have to give zero guys, because this slider is a horizontal slider, we cannot give any vertical offset here, okay? So if in case you come across any particular application, right, where you know, you will get this vertical slider, then you just give this uh, Y offset, okay? Just put this zero and here, give positive value to drag it down, uh, give negative value to drag it up in case of vertical offset, okay, vertical sliders. So since I don't have a particular example for vertical slider and all, so I'm leaving it to you. If you come across anything, such kind of uh, sliders in the coming days, so just uh, give that X, uh, Y offset. Keep X offset as zero and Y offset as some positive or negative value. Okay, so that's all for this session, guys, where I have demonstrated how to, okay, automate handling of the sliders using mouse events in Selenium Python. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.